welcome Mrs. Me, JB Rose, Singing Vegan Mum. How are you all doing this week? Well, I've had a busy week as usual. I must say, this lockdown, I'm just as busy as ever. In fact, all the three, four, lock how many lockdowns? All the lockdowns, I've been very, very, very busy. I think I told you a couple of weeks ago, I filmed my video for my new single. Uh, so that's bubbling away in the background. It's gonna come out real, real soon. And of course, it was my birthday last week. And oh gosh, I'm looking after my dad and the boys. It's been very busy, but of course, there's always time for music, there's always time for singing, and there's also always time for cooking. So if this is the first time you've ever seen me, I am JB Rose. I'm a singer, I'm a vegan, I'm a mum. I like soulful music. Ooh, soulful music. And I like to sing soulful music. Whoa, whoa, soulful music. And then I like to cook too. And I've got two boys. So if you've never seen me before, check me out. I've got loads of recipes here on YouTube. And of course, alongside my recipes, there's all my adventures as well. Now, listen, if you're a vegan or a new vegan, or you've been a vegan for a long time, you're like, oh, what should I cook? My YouTube site is here to give you some different options. On my YouTube site, there's lots of ideas. Sweet ideas, savory ideas. The savory ideas often have a little Caribbean twist to it. And the sweet ideas also have a little twist to it as well. I always try to make the sweet stuff not so sweet. I always replace the sugars with things like coconut sugar or agave or maple syrup sugar just to keep us on the right side of healthy. So check out all my recipes on my YouTube site. Now what did I make today? Well, oh man, I made a delicious cheesecake. Oh my god. Ooh, oh, oh, it was so, oh, it was like, oh. Yeah, I had cashew nuts and coconut oil, I, and I crushed up some dates and walnuts and almond flakes to make the base. Oh, in fact, let me just show you how I made this delicious, delicious recipe. Oh, let's get into it. We have half a cup of all flaked almonds. We have a cup of walnuts. We have a cup of softened dates. I salt that, and then I have a cup of half a cup of raisins, and I have. 20 grams of coconut oil and all of that's going to go into my food mixer and we simply i call it zhuzhing we zhuzh it up every now and then just switch it off and scrape everything back down so that we get everything mushed I also forgot a generous tablespoon of lemon juice so that's all done there I've already pre lined a spring form tin and so that is gonna go in there and you're literally gonna put it in your lined tin and we're gonna press it all down so Already it just smells so lovely. So we're going to go in the freezer for ooh, about 15 minutes and we're going to get on with the rest. But you could put it in the fridge if you wanted. This is the cashew nut that I've been soaking. So you're going to pat dry the cashew nuts and then you're going to put it in the food mixer um, that's 150 grams of um, cashew nuts and then we've got a hundred and five 110 grams of coconut oil I use a cooking coconut not the organic stuff um, because it's got a taste a little bit of lemon juice and then I have some agave sugar you can use maple syrup if you want to, but I'm using, sorry, agave syrup, not sugar. Although that's what is giving us that sugary taste. And then I'm gonna be very generous with my vanilla. Yeah. And then we're just gonna zhuzh it all up. So it becomes smooth. And guys, looking absolutely beautiful ready 
to go. So in an ideal world, I would make use a vanilla pod to make this mixture. And then there'll be these nice little black seeds in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some chia seeds in here just to give it that little color. So when it sets, it will look lovely, okay. And I'm just gonna pour a lovely cheesecake mixture all over the base. Can you see how lovely it is with the little black dots from the chia seeds? This is looking lovely. So this is gonna go back in the fridge to set, maybe a, a few hours. Three hours later. I have some frozen blueberries. And then I have two tablespoons of coconut sugar. And I have some more lemon juice, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. A quarter cup of water. Blueberry sauce. Ooh. A few moments later. So, our cheesecake has set. I'm just going to undo the spring and release the cheesecake. Whoa. And now, this is the fun bit. Beautiful. Tonight's dinner is the Gussie Bolognese, but the Bolognese I have made with lentils. Lentils, lentils. That's mine. I've had it. Um, Cheese! Mine's was um, couscous. Ew! Well, there's a cus cut with couscous and this is a Nayo's. It was fake in the food that we're about to see. Thank you for the hands you made it. Please help all the starving children and the adults and teenagers that have no place to live and don't have a... and don't have a... a, a roof um, above them. Amen. Amen. That's a lovely prayer. Well done, Anaya. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So, my dad has sent me out shopping and he wants to get cheese. Um, he has sandwiches. Um, but I'm not going to give him normal cheese. I'm going to give him vegan cheese he seems to like it um the closest place that has this sort of stuff vegan these stuff up is morrison's where i live so this is what we're going to get we're going to get some vegan cheese i think he likes it he hasn't complained it's a bit empty actually the shelves but i think this is the stuff we're going to get because my dad's on his own it uh, helps and also they've got lots of deals every now and then so yeah i've got the cheese daddy should be happy daddy
just be the edge. Yes. I <laughs> wish, I wish I was very well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And a long life. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. So guys, this is the exciting bit, the taste test. And as you can see, mmm. And I've got some of the extra blueberry sauce, which I'm going to pour over now. Whoa, woo! That is lovely. Woo! And then, you know how it goes. We've got to have the tea. So let's just sip the tea to cleanse the palate. Lovely. I'm going in big time. Here we go. Oh, lovely, smooth and creamy. Mmm, so nice. Really subtle flavour, especially the cheesecake, but the cheese, because you know that's the cashew nuts. Really nice, but then against the the crust, you know the the um, nut crust thing that we made. Oh, lovely. Ah, we mix it with the um, blueberry sauce. Oh, man. This is heaven. Mmm. Oh. And guess what? It's not full of loads and loads of calories. And what's nice, you know, because I put the chia seeds in, you can see all these little dots of black in there. I would, normally I would have cinnamon pods, and that would have made the little dots. But the chia seeds have done the same thing, and I've got loads of vanilla in there. And I'm telling you, this is so tasty, especially with our blueberry sauce, which is just blueberries, coconut sugar, and some lemon juice. Mmm. So simple, yet delicious. Look, treat your mum on Mother's Day, or treat yourself and your family to this lovely, healthy, vegan cheesecake. It is delicious. So guys, I'll see you next time for healthy vegan options. I'm your girl, I'm your girl.